Bluetooth has become a staple in almost all of our devices, from smartphones to laptops. We use them to connect headphones, peripherals, and even lights. However, even though we use this tech every day, we really don't think about how Bluetooth works or why it was created in the first place. However, if you aren't a tech geek, there are a few things that you should know about Bluetooth, including its more popular versions like Bluetooth 5.2 and Bluetooth 5.0. In today's video, we'll take a brief look into the history of Bluetooth, its latest versions, their specs, and their differences. So, Stay tuned. So let's start with a brief history of Bluetooth, as it's really interesting. Jap Hartston, a communications engineer at Ericsson back in 1993, was tasked with the duty of developing a short-range connection technology for their mobile phones in order to allow and pave the way for the future of mobile computing. And with that, the Bluetooth Special Interest Group, SIG, grew pretty fast. The group started with only five companies in total. Ericsson, Intel, Nokia, IBM, and Toshiba, however, grew fast with more and more companies joining over the years. By the end of its first year, Bluetooth SIG had more than 400 members. Today, it boasts over 36 thousand members. In 1999, the first consumer Bluetooth was launched. It was a hands-free mobile headset that bagged Best of Show Technology Award at the Comdex Award. Also, the Bluetooth 1.0 specification officially launched that year, which led to the release of the first Bluetooth-equipped chipsets, mice, wireless PC cards, and mobile phones in 2000. Bluetooth technology has come a long way since it was born 23 years ago. So let's get into the meat of this video and talk about Bluetooth 5.0 and Bluetooth 4.2. Bluetooth 5.0 is both faster and better than its predecessor, with twice the data range, four times the distance range, and eight times the broadcast capability. Bluetooth 5.0 seems to be blazing ahead, right? Well. Kind of. Despite the distinguishing features and functionalities of the two, they aren't so far apart. So before you throw your old earbuds away and upgrade them to Bluetooth 5.0, you might want to hear this first. The best distinguishing feature of Bluetooth 5.0 is probably the increase in range. Like I said earlier, the range is up to four times of that of Bluetooth 4.2. With the 4.2 version, we were looking at around a 50 meter range at best, but with 5.0, we can enjoy an incredible 200 to 800 meter range. While you may find that the maximum range is really cool, you have to keep in mind that Bluetooth still can't pass through walls, not well anyway. So unless you plan on connecting a Bluetooth speaker across the yard or across the beach, you might want to think twice because the average headphone usage will still fall within that sort of old 50 meter range for a solid clear connection. But don't despair, the increase in data rate makes up for that. Bluetooth 5.0 has an increased data rate of 2 megabits per second. This means that it can get a net data rate of 1.4 megabits per second when we account for overheads like addressing. This speed, however, isn't fast enough to stream video, but audio streaming is definitely within that range. Bluetooth 5.0 can now connect to multiple devices throughout your home instead of just one in your home. This is possible thanks to multiple data rates like 2 megabits per second, 1 megabits per second, 500 kilobits per second, and 125 kilobits per second. It is also possible to scale down the data rate in four steps because the lower the data rate, the longer the achieved range. Also, Bluetooth 5.0 supports eight times bigger packets for broadcast capability. With more data bits in each packet, the net data throughput is also increased. Keep in mind that Bluetooth 5.0 can also transmit around 6 megabits per second, which is roughly twice as fast as Bluetooth 4.2. Before we keep finding out what makes these two different versions, well, different, if you are learning anything from this video, then please let us know by hitting that like button. And also, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss an upload. Anyway, back to the video. When it comes to speed, Bluetooth 5.0 outpaces the Bluetooth 4.2 version with 
with its two megabits per second. This is roughly two times the speed of Bluetooth 4.2, which was around one megabits per second. This distinguishing feature allows Bluetooth 5.0 to meet the IoT requirement. In case you don't know, many of the Bluetooth 5.0 improvements are intended for the emerging Internet of Things or IoT, which includes everything from smart cars to smart appliances. Bluetooth 5.0 meets requirements for IoT devices due to its great range and increased speed, whereas on the other hand, Bluetooth 4.2 was unable to meet any of those requirements. Also, Bluetooth 5.0 consumes less power when compared to Bluetooth 4.2. This means that your Bluetooth device can run for much longer or have devices built with smaller batteries without affecting battery life. This also means that Bluetooth 5.0 can maintain a more powerful signal with potentially less power. One other significant advantage of Bluetooth 5.0 is lower latency than Bluetooth 5.2. This can make all of the difference when it comes to gaming or watching a movie with a pair of earbuds. Protocols like AppX Low Latency is only capable thanks to Bluetooth 5.0. Also, the 5.0 version offers dual audio, meaning that you can pair your phone to two pairs of wireless headphones simultaneously to share audio with friends. This can also work the other way around, with a pair of Bluetooth headphones being able to connect to two devices. Bluetooth 5.0 offers many upgrades over Bluetooth 5.2, although they are still quite similar and some of its features may not be as important for some applications. Bluetooth 5.0 is backwards compatible with Bluetooth 5.2, so you don't need to worry about compatibility issues between a new device and an old one. So if you are out there looking for a new device, then obviously get one with Bluetooth 5.0 as this is gonna future-proof you with newer devices. However, if you have a device with Bluetooth 5.2 and it's working fine, then there's really no reason reason to throw it out an upgrade. By the way, if you've enjoyed today's video, then make sure to smash that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you stay updated with any future videos. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.